Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another streetwear talk video the series where i cover the latest streetwear releases i cover the latest streetwear news and of course in the series well i just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion now in today's video i'm going to be covering the lookbook for the first drop of stussy's holiday 2023 collection but before i can dive into that guys I've got to do something else just quite quickly at the start of this video. I've got to thank you guys once again for your continuous support. As over the past couple of uploads, I asked if we could hit the subscriber milestone of 3,740 subscribers before the end of November. You guys came through no problem at all and said, Daniel, look, you set 3,740 subscribers a bit too close towards the end of October, so we can only hit it in November. And I said, hey, fair enough, fellas, you do you. Uh, thank you for helping out. <laughs> because <laughs> we hit it and we surpassed it literally what less than uh like we're what day three of november so less than five days into november you guys came through and helped the channel out so i wanted to give you a shout out thank you to the public and private subscribers for subscribing to the channel it's awesome to see us reach 3740 we're getting closer and closer to um to updating the little uh little milestone under the mirror there so that's always awesome um, hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach the next milestone that I'm going to set in this video of 3,745 subscribers. Um, I think with your guys' continuous support, we'll be able to reach that milestone before the end of November. Now we can start talking about the lookbook for this first holiday drop that Stussy is giving us in 2023. and. In all, like, in all reality, being 100% honest with you, I was kind of on the fence of, am I going to cover this drop? Do I cover this drop? I do really love Stussy. Like, 80% of my uh, button-up shirts that I'm going to be wearing in summer are Stussy button-up shirts. I love their designs in a lot of their different sections of their clothing that they release. Am I going to cover it? But one of you guys, you guys made me do it. Kenny, Kenny dropped a comment in the comment section below asking as if I was going to cover it. And that was the little bit of, I guess, push that I needed to be like, all right, I'll cover it. Because <laughs> I was yeah, I was on the fence. I was like, oh, is anyone asking for it? I want to do it, but like, I, I don't have a lot of ma motivation to do it. Kenny's comment gave me the motivation. So I was like, oh, okay, I, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> I was actually going to unbox my my next little undercover piece that i've got here uh as well but i'll have to i'll have to push that back we'll have to hold off on that because we've got to cover this lookbook first we'll get to that next but uh yeah that's literally the reason that i'm doing the video today guys i was on the fence about it did i want to spend my friday off from work doing it now i will now i will <laughs> so yeah we'll cover the if it's got the release details in the hype beast article that we'll use today guys uh, i'll definitely cover the release details but primarily we'll just be looking at the lookbook and i'll give you my thoughts and opinions on the photos models and pieces that are showcased in the lookbook uh let's head on over to that hype beast article that i was just referencing and we'll see if those release details are located there here we are at the Hypebeast article that we're going to be using today, guys. I'll link it down in that description section below if you want to check it out yourselves. We'll quickly see if there's release details for it. There is. Um, yeah, okay. We've got the article saying the collection's available worldwide at select Stussy stores on the 1st of November, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. But then we literally go to the Stussy Instagram post. And it's like, oh, by the way, it releases on November 3rd, a Friday, which makes sense because they release on a Friday. I would definitely believe the Stussy Instagram post over the Hype Beast article. <laughs> I'm going to say it's dropping on the Friday because that's normal for Stussy. Disregard the Hype Beast article release details. Definitely go with November 3rd on that one. Um, but yeah, it should be releasing at all Stussy stores and the online stores as well. I'm assuming Stussy Australia will get it. And very typically, Australia always gets it late. We get it 
very soon on our online store, but then in um, stores that stock Stussy, it takes probably like another season or two before we actually get the, uh, the you know, this current season coming actually released at department stores and stuff like that. Like, I remember there was a couple knits that released in, I think I want to say like the spring 22 season. And I didn't see them in Australia until like two seasons after that had actually released. Like they dropped on the day on Stussy Online, but in actual stores, it took us months. I think it's just because we're an isolated island. We get everything late. That's very typical for Australia. <laughs> so that's probably the case. So look, if you want to come down here to the land down under and stunt on some people, wear the latest Stussy pieces. <laughs> if they care, to be honest. I, Australians don't really care too much. But anyway, thought I'd just fill you guys in on that one. Now that we've covered all the release details for it, let's actually check out the lookbook and see what kind of pieces we're going to be getting for the first drop of the holiday 23 season. So to start off the lookbook, we've got a look showcasing quite a few pieces, but what what I hate about this look is we get to see like parts of different pieces, but I can't really justify it. Well, I can't really like, like come up with a solid opinion on all of them because I can only see parts of all the different pieces. I need to see the parts like, or the pieces individually so I can kind of form an opinion on it. Cause I see what looks, looks like to be a like denim vest underneath here. I see a varsity jacket, what looks to be made out of wool. And then I see, I mean, the pants I get a, a big look at. I get the camo, the woodland camo on the um, on the pants. But the pieces on the top half, I kind of get don't get a good idea of how they look. What I do like about them, though, is simply just the length. The size of these pieces aren't excessively long, and I really like that. I definitely like when my pieces are at the waist or a little bit shorter. They always look quite nice. Really elongates my legs so i really do like that look i would like to see both those pieces individually hopefully with the other images we do get a point where that happens we get two pieces showcased here uh potentially three if the pants are included we've got a jacket to match the pants we saw in photo one and then we've got a fleece potentially vest maybe jacket can't see any arms because it's hidden under the under the jacket here but maybe a vest maybe a jacket looks like a nice brown sherpa can't complain about that very solid a very typical stussy design though they do like to use this design quite a bit we've then got a like a rock scape puffer i mean palace skateboards just dropped that and honestly i kind of think palace skateboards did it a little bit better but this is still okay. I mean, maybe it's not meant to be a rock scape puffer jacket and it's meant to be something else, but that is how I interpret it just looking at it. Uh, it looks like we've got some very utilitarian pants down here with a very low pocket on them. We've got a fleece, a animal print fleece, which also has um, bits of color thrown into it in kind of like a randomized pattern as well. So it looks like a white leopard print pattern with blue like splotches of paint being thrown onto it. I kind of like the look. Animal print is a tough sell for me, but if you want a fleece jacket that's an all over print design, I think this is a really good uh, one to hit up. And I do like fleece jackets that are all over print designs. I like when they're wacky and they're loud. That's where I come to fleece jackets for. So I'm happy with that. I'd like to see what other colors it comes in as well. Looks like we've got a full zip jacket underneath it. Some very wide, well, I wouldn't say wide legged, but I'd say straight legged pants and potentially some more collaborative converse down there. I do see some converse down there. We've got, okay, a very nice leather jacket releasing this season, a Stussy belt, nice jeans, simple uh, button up shirt there. Okay, that kind of looks like Prot's artwork, right? Do you guys see what I mean? Like Prot's famous like denim repair artwork? Am I just... No, I want to see more of this. That's what it looks like. I don't know if that's intentional. I don't, from what I know, I know if Prot is collaborating with uh, Stussy this season, but 
Definitely how this design is done as a print reminds me of his very lovely handmade work. Interesting. Interesting. Um, we've got some docks being worn down here, some white pants, but that one kind of caught me off guard. I'd need to see the listing of that to see what's going on there, because it kind of looks like his artwork, but done as like a print on that jacket. We've got a very big leather jacket here. Looks really lovely though. Nice colors. A green leather is a really cool color choice to choose. I hope that hood is filled with some really nice Sherpa lining. Keep it nice and toasty. That would be a really good jacket to pick up. We've got some white pants with what looks to be like a stone or brick, uh, I guess, design or outline to it. Uh, like a cracked pavement kind of uh, outlook, to, uh, or sorry, design to it, which I, I think is kind of cool. Done in a very like tonal way there. We've got a, like a quilted bomber jacket. That looks quite nice. I wonder if it is reversible or if the very loud orange color is the exterior. I guess we'll see. We've got some nice denim there, a nice hoodie, and that's about it there. We've got a corduroy double-breasted blazer. That's intense. <laughs> that's so intense. Um, but you could wear it very easily, very casually, exactly how they've worn it like this model has with a shirt, jeans. It could absolutely be done. There were a lot of people in the 90s wearing that. You'd look like you're from an episode of Friends, but it's a look. It is absolutely a look and the cap kind of tops it off. I'm not going to lie. That is a nice little look there, but crazy. Didn't think Stussy would be releasing a blazer like that. We've got, ooh, damn, I that I was not expecting. This is not generally a silhouette that Stussy would touch, but we've got this really big, again, double-breasted overcoat. Cozy, I like the colors of it. I wanna see all the colors it comes in. This is a solid piece. I, I'm kind of surprised with that. I was not expecting Stussy to drop a silhouette like this, but I love it. I'm very happy with it. And it's got a waist belt as well, if you wanna, you know, accentuate your waist a little bit. That's a really solid piece. We've got another version of that jacket we saw at the start featuring again. Um, some more of those utilitarian pants. We've got just a nice, I mean, whenever I see a jacket like this, it kind of reminds me of Issei Miyake's uh, pleated designs, but yeah, um, it, it is a very nice jacket, simple pleated design to it and uh, some of those rockscape pants. Uh, maybe it's meant to be like bark. These ones do look like bark from a tree, uh, but yeah, a nice design as well. Huge puffer jacket, plaid shirt, corduroy potentially. It might be denim, but it looks, it looks kind of textured in a way. I can't really tell from the photo though. A very nice overcoat here as well. I like the black color, really solid. Um, I, I love my overcoats, so seeing something like this is really nice. The Stussy gloves, the Stussy leather gloves is wild to see. Um, go for it Stussy, but wow, <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, I didn't think Stussy would be releasing gloves, but there you go. There you go. That's cool. Uh, I like the washed out denim as well. That's a very nice color. I really want more denim that's that color. I have way too much denim that is just deep dark blue or black and nothing that's super washed and light. So I need to expand my wardrobe in that way. We've got a camo, very utilitarian jacket here. We've got a zip up hoodie and it looks like a graphic t-shirt underneath. Very wide pants here, very nice. We've got another puffer jacket appearing again in a camo design. We have some shorts. This is a very weird look. This doesn't feel right having like a camo puffer jacket, shorts, and like almost knee high boots. Strange, a very strange outfit. We've got, oh, okay. We've got the, pu is that the same as before? It is the same as before. So the camo design puffer jacket has a cracked look to it. Um, that's kind of cool. I mean, I feel like it's loud enough with its camo design to it, but adding that texture design to it as well adds a little bit of flair to it. 
and I like it here in the black because it, it, it took me a solid color to actually see that cracked design to it but that's cool um is I, i'd love to like feel it i'd love to feel how that puffer jacket feels in hand to see if the texture um matches how it feels maybe it doesn't that would be a trip if it didn't feel cracked but it looked cracked that would be a trip but that would be really cool uh we've got a cutout cap as well featuring up here some camo pants Juicy Sport Varsity Jacket. I love it. If, if that's the same design that features on the cream one that we saw at the start of the lookbook, I'm keen on that. That's a cool piece. Uh, and then we just got some white pants. Um, moving forward, we've got a diamond design fleece jacket. That's quite nice. Um, I'd like to see other colors it comes in, but I do like the brown and I guess like greeny yellow um in there are uh, greeny white design that's not too bad some very utilitarian pants there cargo pants we've got that uh utilitarian jacket making an appearance again in that like pavement uh design that i was talking about which the pants came in we got some i mean these almost look like leather pants actually the material on those but yeah there we go we've got a very fluffy probably mohair sweater Stussy Sport uh, pants down below. We got some denim. We got some denim double knees. We've got a denim uh, jacket as well, hooded jacket. Uh, I don't mind the double knee pants. The jacket, it's kind of cool as well. Not something that I would wear, but a nice little piece. And then we got that uh, that knit, that V-neck knit that I still think is props design uh, being applied to it in a way. We've got the camo ha uh, hat making an appearance, simple hoodie, uh, chore jacket. It is a very short chore jacket though. I, um, I, I would have liked it a little bit longer. And then some very wide pants there. Cool, 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 cool. We've got a very thin looking uh, Stussy knit with a Stussy design on the back of it. Those uh, zip pocket pants again that we saw before. We've got the plaid shirt making an appearance, blue pants, uh, probably a mohair beanie because the Stussy logo looks like it's got some furry texture to it. So it's probably made out of mohair. We've got the camo pants down here. Well, woodland camo pants down here. We've got a quilted zip up jacket. Oh, a quilted, I'm gonna say bomber jacket. It's the same, it's the orange one that we saw before, but in white. And then honestly, I like the white color a little bit more than the orange because the orange is just a bit too loud for me. But yeah, I like that. That's a nice design there. We've got a knit zip up hoodie, which I think we saw this one before. Uh, we've got the camo pants again. Lots of camo and woodland camo all over print designs in this holiday season. Just a nice brushed cardigan. I could get around something like that, maybe in a bit more versatile colors for my wardrobe, like black, gray, colors like that. Nothing exciting like this soft pink, but it's a nice color. Uh, we've got that pavement pants. Oh, I should have just called them like that at the start, the pavement pants. <laughs> it's got that pavement texture to it, or that design at least to it. Uh, and then to end it off with, we've got a vest, a Sherpa vest over the top of a plaid uh, jacket by the looks of it with those again I think they're leather pants featuring again that is the entire lookbook though guys how do I feel about it um there's a lot of versatile pieces that we saw throughout this lookbook for drop one uh unfortunately not any big heavy hitting pieces that I will be scrambling to pick up from Stussy. I did really enjoy seeing overcoats in this season though. I feel like Stussy doesn't do a lot of those in just their seasons. They'd probably only touch that silhouette if they were doing it for a collaboration, but I really enjoyed seeing that. Um, I really liked the black one. Uh, there are, yeah, there's a lot of versatile, nice pieces in this season. I, I thought the cracked puffer jacket was a cool idea. I'm just not a puffer jacket guy, so I wouldn't pick it up, but it was cool to see something like that for sure. I, again, though, I still want to do what I said um, halfway through the video. I want to feel it. I want to feel that texture to it. Hopefully it's um, it's got that cracked texture to it because it would trip me out it being like very smooth and very soft. But having that look, that would be crazy. 
Uh, oh, I do like the varsity jacket. The varsity jacket is quite nice, but it's not a, like I don't desperately need that because my wardrobe is literally filled with heavy leather uh, and wool jackets there and varsity jackets down there. So I'm pretty sorted at the moment, but I could definitely go for a nice Stussy varsity jacket. No complaints about that. Um, yeah, it was nice. There wasn't any pieces that I thought were absolutely awful going through it. I definitely think there's going to be a piece here for everyone. Um, it was a lot of fun to go through this lookbook for the first drop of the holiday 23 season. I enjoyed it. Um, no beef, no bad thoughts about it. It was okay. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it though, now that we've covered it, guys. Did you like this lookbook? Did you hate this lookbook? Did you really want some of the pieces? Do you not really want some of the pieces? Let me know how you feel about this Drop One Holiday 23 lookbook down in that comment section below. And that is everything really to cover about this uh, Holiday Drop One 23 lookbook, guys. I want to have that conversation with you guys down in that comment section below now though. Are you going to be picking up anything from this drop? It drops on November 3rd. Maybe you'll pick it up when it drops on Stussy's online stores or in-store locations. Or maybe you'll be like me, you'll see it two seasons later in a department store and you'll think, damn, that's right, I forgot that that released. I'm going to pick that up. <laughs> I don't know. We all have our different ways of picking up things. Let me know if you're going to be going for anything and what you're going to be going for down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Stussy releases, collaborations, all that good stuff, you just gotta give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best indicator that you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. And if you have subscribed to the channel, Tell a couple of your friends, tell a couple mates, because with your guys' continuous support, I feel like we can hit the new subscriber milestone that I set at the start of the video of 3,745. I feel like with your constant support, we'll hit it before the end of November. But that is everything I gotta say about the uh, Stussy Holiday Drop One 2023 lookbook. Um, I'm very keen to see what Drop Two has in store for us, which one's the better out of the two drops. And I'm also very keen to move on to the next video, which is unboxing this bad boy. So we'll see how that all goes as well. But um, yeah, until the next streetwear talk video, until the next drop list video, until the next Stussy video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.